You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Buzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menunos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is After Buzz TV's The Carry Diaries After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's After Buzz TV's The Carry Diaries After Show. Hey you guys, Bing is for doing and we are doing another episode of The Carrie Diaries, Season 1, Episode 5, Dangerous Territory. Happy Valentine's Week, that's why we're wearing pink. Yes. And love is in the air, and it is in this episode, or maybe not love, but relationships and crushes and all sorts of whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so what do you guys think of the episode? Um, I thought it was... <laughs> I thought the episode was good. I mean, there was a lot of different kind of mini storylines going on in it. But, yeah, overall, I thought it was pretty good. What would you think? I thought it was good. I liked the whole, um, the new situation, the new boy that yeah. Carrie had. And you predicted that. I A New did. York boy. I did. I'm there so were happy. a few things we predicted that I noticed have happened in this episode. But we were talking about what topics we should do. And it's kind of hard to break them down because so much happens. So we're going to do sort of a recap with our opinions in it this week switch it up a little bit so in the very beginning carrie's at her internship and she meets that new guy george who she actually knew when she was a kid because he got poison ivy all over her or something yeah and his mom was friends with her mom which we find out later but they have sort of a crush thing going on except carrie isn't all the way into it at first because she still has feelings for Sebastian, mm. which later we find out <laughs> he's moved on to Donna LaDonna, our favorite. So what do you guys think about how she found out during the whole driving test? I think, I actually think it was pretty funny because that's something I would do. <laughs> um, <laughs> but you'd I'd be mean, like Donna LaDonna making out with someone or you'd be or like, no, be like I'd, Carrie. I'd, Carrie. I'd, I'd be the Carrie. Oh, okay. I'd be like running people Aww. over. <laughs> That's so sad. But um, I think, um, I mean, she was going to find out one way or the other. Just unfortunately found out during her first driving test. Yeah. She just looks in the rearview mirror and there they are. And then it ruins her parallel parting, which is funny because she built it up so much. Yeah. Saying, oh, I'm really good at this. There's no way I'm going to be bad at it. And then she almost runs them over, which I thought was pretty funny. That was pretty funny. <laughs> um, I definitely have to say I saw it come in. Like, I saw them definitely hooking up. Not, you know what I mean? Like, I saw that relationship, like, blossom in and... Um, it was funny that, like, the driving test was, like, the parallel parking part seemed to be, like, in a residential area, no one around, but, like, Carrie's dad, and then out of nowhere, right when she's about to parallel park, there they come making out. Like, it wasn't even in front of a school. It was, like, what are you guys doing here, like, in the middle of Residential Street, USA, you know? I was wondering that, too. I was surprised they didn't throw some extras just walking around yeah. or anything. It was, like, why are they just hanging out right there, making out in a street? Yeah. But... Whatever. Television. It works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Things happen. It's very true. But because she saw that, it makes her feel okay with going to the New York party that George's mom is hosting. Very elaborate Upper East Side party, which she doesn't really fit into, but who wouldn't want to go? I think it looks fun. It looks like a lot yeah. of fun. Definitely. I love um, when Barbara actually took her shopping. Yeah. Because that was kind of like a little bonding moment for that for them. She was really nice to her, too, and she ended up borrowing her daughter's dress, and she helped her pick out the dress that she didn't end up wearing, but they had she a stronger relationship. She actually ended up wearing the dress. Oh, really? She just put a tutu yeah, over, over it. it. I didn't catch that at all. Yeah. yeah. No way. Her, if Barbara's, um, Barbara's daughter was, like, into tutus and stuff like that, so she's since it was formal and George went ahead and didn't tell her, it's the worst, not. guys. Don't yeah. ever do that to your date. <laughs> um, she's like, well, what am I going to do? And so we find out. And then she says 
thank goodness that, you know, Barbara's daughter was into like a tutu phase. So she ended up wearing a tutu. If you can tell, the tutu is actually black and yeah. the dress is like navy blue. Like That's blue. hilarious because I was thinking that she was borrowing a tutu dress that was black and longer. Yeah. So I was yeah. like, why does it have that same weird neckline? Yeah. Is she, is she obsessed was... with that neckline or something? <laughs> so I'm glad you guys cleared that up for me. That was a weird neckline. I have to agree. When she tried it on, I was like, well, the dress is nice, but can we just cut that neck part out or something? That was a little odd, but. And the tag necklaces didn't really help. Yeah. Maybe one, not. <laughs> like statement necklace. <laughs> Tangling but... it up. But. Yeah, I like. I definitely have to agree. I liked it when they went shopping together, and like, she was being nice to her, and and she Carrie even asked like Barbara, why are you being nice to me? And she said it's because I like to see George with someone who's hardworking, and like she kind of opened up and admitted that she thinks Carrie is a hardworking girl, mm-hmm. and and like that made Carrie feel good. You can tell. So yeah, it I was think good she to was see. worried too because she's always running off with Larissa that yeah. she doesn't seem like that hard of a worker but it's good that she makes up for it when she is in the office. Yeah, and who, by the way, Larissa or Dorit were not in this episode today. I know. Also, I was sad. Oh, oh, neither I think Larissa's fun. still uh, making up for her last week. <laughs> She's, <laughs> She's recovering. Still She's still hunting hunting recovering. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe but. Dorit is too. Yeah. <laughs> She's staying inside yeah. after watching those scary movies. It's true. It could happen. Well, another thing that happens in the beginning is Carrie's dad loses his wedding ring. Does. Yeah. But he kind of needs to move on, and that's what his friend was saying, who's George's dad, right? Yeah, Mm -hmm. it's George's dad. He's like, maybe it's a good thing you lost it because you really need to move on. And he ends up hitting a lady with his car later in the episode, which turns into him getting her number and they start liking each other which I thought was the weirdest thing ever because if someone hit me with their car I wouldn't come on to them right (laughs) I'd be like what are you doing (laughs) don't hit me I mean unless the guy was really hot I would be like okay you can hit me anytime with your car but you know it's (laughs) you know it's it's cute. I liked it. I like the whole, like, situation. I'm glad he's moving on. Yeah, and me I, too. I like how he was, like, clueless at the end when she was like, so are you married? And he's like, no. And then she's like, well, you should give me your number. And he's like, why? So you can sue me? And it's like, no, you dork. She wants to, to you to ask her out. Like, <laughs> Guess it's been a while yeah. since he's been in the dating scene. <laughs> and, like, she even cleared it up. She's like, no, so we can go on a date. And he's like, oh, okay. Like, confused. You're yeah. asking me out? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I it thought it was funny. adorable, though. It was cute. Cute little moment for them. Yes. <laughs> well, for there's sure. the whole diner battle in this episode, which I think is pretty ridiculous. But it, it's funny and is very territorial. Like, who's going to get the diner? And it's usually Carrie and Mouse and Walt and Maggie. They hang out in the diner. And then Donna LaDonna and her two, you know, co-partners in ten of crime. Yeah. <laughs> They start taking it over and eat lettuce there because they don't eat real food. Right. And they're just trying to win it over because of Carrie. It's a jealousy issue, kind of like, oh, I got your diner and I got your boyfriend. Yeah. And she ends up losing, but I thought it was funny that Maggie was so, like, this is my diner the yeah. whole time. And she was the her. only one, yeah. like, very persistent. And, like, Carrie was nowhere to be found in that diner until the very end. And then Maggie was, like, always the one. And Mouse just kind of, like, gave up and left sometimes. But... Yeah. Yeah. Well, they have to go back to class. It's true. Right? Mm-hmm. They have to go back to class. And then Maggie's, Maggie's just like, well, like, I have study hall. I'm going to stay. And she, yeah. like, <laughs> kicked her ass, kind of, per se. Maybe not. Do you but, think yeah. she was doing it because she hates Donna LaDonna or to help Carrie? Because Carrie, I don't think, would have cared that much if she I think there. she was doing both. Yeah. yeah. I think she was doing both. I mean, she sees how, like, you know, it's kind of like their, their little hangout and they're, like, home away from home type of thing. And it's always been. So she loves Carrie and she doesn't want her to, like, be upset. And at the same time, you know, who wouldn't want to kick Donna LaDonna out of somewhere? I know. <laughs> <laughs> who wouldn't? But uh, speaking of all the relationship drama, Seth and Mouse, they have their steamy sex scene and an interesting conversation afterwards. What did you think about Mouse lying about sleeping with other people? Well, she did. She tried to get... Oh, we have a caller. Oh, we, we have, have a, a caller. Yay! Hello. 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 Hi. Hi. Hello. Who is this? Wait, is this bad girl phone? Oh, whoops. Oh, <laughs> oh, call the wrong show. 
We can be uh, bad darn All right. <laughs> Someone else can Psych. call in, though, yeah. for this show. If anyone else wants to call in and talk to us, feel free to join the conversation. Us. <laughs> but no, we're not Bad Girls Club right now. <laughs> Anyways, what were we talking about? Um, their sex thing um, with Seth and, uh, Seth and Mouse. Mouse. Yeah. Seth and Mouse. But I think it's fun. Well, he, like, you know, you can tell she was hurt that he slept with other people, and she only just learned how to, to those moves through, like, a how-to video with um, Walt. And so she's like, oh, yeah, I slept with Walt. And then that ended up being backfired later on in the episode. But, yeah, like, you could tell she was really hurt because he did admit that he slept with other people. And he's like, oh, you definitely must have because how else would you learn these moves? And, like, instead of, like, saying, no, I didn't, like, I watched or whatever, like, she just went along with it. And you can tell she was, like, upset that he slept with other people. I was mad at her in that scene because yeah. it's one thing to be like, oh, I slept with someone else, but it's like, don't say Walt's name because obviously he's going to yeah. meet Walt. Like, make up another guy friend friends. you don't know. Just yeah. say, like, Ben or, I don't know. Yeah, someone else. Some, you know, Could we normally. talk about that double standard for a minute? Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. what is that, guys? Come on. I don't agree with that at all. And it's so true in real life. If a girl sleeps around a lot, she's a slut and it's a true. whore and she's getting made fun of and... If a guy sleeps around a lot, it's like, high five, you're awesome. Like, yeah. get it, you know? <laughs> yeah. It's but not right. Negative. It's not right, guys. Don't do that. think about it, gentlemen out there, who do you think that they're sleeping around with? The girls, most of the time, if they're straight. So, like, hello. They can't, if they're getting a lot of action, that means they're sleeping with different girls. Yeah. So it's not completely equal still, no. women and men, and... It's getting better, but that's one of the things I've noticed a lot, especially with people in college. If, like, a girl sleeps around a lot, it's like, ooh, she's a slut now. And yeah. she's labeled as, like, the dirty she's easy. girl. Yeah. And with guys, it's, like, it, the more you sleep around, the more awesome you are, yeah. I feel like. It's ridiculous. It's crazy. But back to Mouse, actually. Um, I don't know. Like, I'm kind of liking Seth a little bit. Me yeah, too. No? Except I was mad at him that he kind of cheated on her. Yeah. Were they official, though? They were broken up, though. Oh, okay. They were broken up. So that makes it kind of on okay. A break. break. Yeah. I don't understand okay. breaks either. I don't That's get another it. thing. It's either like, just break, break up. up or don't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I actually, I actually like Seth, and I like um, his relationship with Mouse, and I hope that it continues. Mm hmm. And I was happy for her because she was so clueless in the beginning. She was yeah. like, I don't really know how to have sex. And yeah. so I'm glad that Walt helped her out because Walt was kind of in that same awkward position, too. Right. So I thought that was a really cute bonding moment between those two characters, mm -hmm. also. Definitely. They, they tag teamed. Awkward. They tag team back. That was yes. that really <laughs> cute. Super cute. What do you guys think about Blythe? George's ex who just came back from rehab. Do you think mm. that she may cause problems in the future? How did you like did you guys like perceive her in this? Um, I don't know if she's gonna be back for another episode or not. I mean I didn't look at IMDB so I have no idea, mm -hmm. but like I just feel like he could really care less that she was there and he was even like calling her out in front of everybody at the dinner and he was like, So how was rehab? Not like, how was your vacation? You know, like nicer way of saying it. Like he's like, What'd you how was rehab? Like out in front of everybody so I don't think he has any like thing to like want to go back with her and he even told Carrie that so yeah I don't think he's interested in her at all he even said like I don't want someone from my yeah. world I want someone more normal and not as crazy as all the people I'm forced to hang out with yeah but I think she might appear in future episodes and maybe just you know to traumatize their relationship and you know add some drama into the episodes but I don't think she's a threat at all can you see George and Carrie being like an official couple mm. or do you think she's always like gonna if like Sebastian comes around she'll always like run back to him where it is now I feel like she might have fun with George for a bit but deep down she still with has Sebastian. a huge crush on Sebastian and yeah. wants him yeah. back even when she saw him and Donna kissing yeah. She was like, oh, I'm dating someone else, kind of just to cover. And it gave her an excuse to go to the New York party. But I think deep down she was hurt and yeah. was mm -hmm. upset mm -hmm. to see them together. As any girl would probably be. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I would be really mad. 
she does such a good job at being so polite and, and like nice. adult about it, being the bigger person in situations. But yeah, I'd be really mad though. I'd flip out on him. Yeah, I think it was. I I like the whole conversation that she had that Kit, um, his George's mother, had with her about her own mother. Yeah, so it kind of like took her back, and she learned how her mother was when you know when she was younger and when she wasn't you know when she wasn't born before she was born. And we learned that her mom was really into the New York lifestyle and had to be torn away for it, from it to start mm-hmm. the family. But she used to go out in New York and drink and have a fabulous life. And that's the life that Carrie wants. So she's like, wow, I didn't even know my parents lived here. Kind yeah. of thing. And I think that's cool. And it's going to make her closer to her dad and fonder memories of her mom because of that. Mm-hmm. And it was good to see George's mom be more accepting than when she found out it was like she was Grace's daughter. And she was like, oh, I knew Grace. And like that made her like like Carrie was before. She was like, who is this girl? And da da da. And so it was good. To, it was a like, cute little moment of bonding. I know. She was so mean to her before she knew her no. last name. Like, oh, you're some commoner. Like, you're, yeah. we're so above <laughs> you. And then it's like, oh, your last name's Bradshaw. I love you now. Yeah. <laughs> it's so weird. It's ridiculous. I guess that's how those people are. That's true. I think a, I think a lot of it too is just because she loved her mother so much as like a best friend. Yeah. That it's like she's kind of like embracing her as, you know, kind of not really like, like a daughter, but you know, kind of like oh maybe maybe you know I don't know maybe it'll be in my predictions. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna. This is kind of a prediction question, but so do you think that his mom completely approves of Carrie if they were going to date because she doesn't have money but she was really close with her mom do you think she's fine if they started dating officially I think she will be I think she will be too mm-hmm. yeah because yeah. she knew her mom and her dad and I think she'd be okay with it like if she didn't know that was her daughter then probably not but I think now she'd be okay such a weird bubble that no. Upper East Side <laughs> wealthy weird. family it's weird. Thing. Must be fun, though. <laughs> I know. <seriously. laughs> Fabulous parties. Yeah, right? <laughs> Jewel parties, uh, elegant parties. Oh, man, that house was amazing, too. Yes. <laughs> it was crazy. So should we talk about our iTunes, actually? Yes. Would you like to do it? You can go ahead and do it. Okay, <laughs> I will do it. Well, we're going to mention our iTunes. If you're watching this on YouTube or After Buzz TV. Go on iTunes. You can also listen to us on there with our podcast. All you have to do is type in After Buzz, find the Carrie Diaries, and hit subscribe. And you can also leave some comments and five stars, which we love. And we have five stars right now. I checked yesterday. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's Thanks, what it everyone. Was yesterday. So thank you. And um, yeah, please leave us comments. That's how we know how we're doing. So good or bad, let us know. And also check out our other shows on After Buzz. We have a million other shows we here. We do. <laughs> and oh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> go ahead. And we all do. Um, we all do other shows as well. So you can catch me on Beauty and the Beast and Southland. I'm gonna do Honey Boo Boo tomorrow. That's been on hiatus for a while. I'm doing Snooki and Jay Wow tonight. So tune in, guys, at 10 p.m. And tomorrow I'm on The Lion Game and Vanderpump Rules, which will be filled with drama. I just know it. Of course. <laughs> Um, before we go on to news and gossip, though, the new movie Serial Buddies with Maria Menounos. You guys, it is hilarious. I watched the trailer, and Variety even wrote an article about it, covering it in their um, magazine. So, seriously, it comes out March 8th in theaters. Check out the Variety article. Check out the website like for the trailer, serial, SerialBuddies.com. And it looks like a hilarious movie. Maria's worked so hard on it, and it's going to be so good. It's a comedy, like, killer I don't know how else to describe it, like comedy killer movie. Serial buddy comedy movie. There you go. (laughs) Thank you, Marissa. (laughs) Dexter meets Dumb and Dumber. Yeah, it looks great. So everybody, please go check it out. March 8th, it comes out. You are not going to regret it. It looks really funny, so watch the preview. I thought the preview was pretty funny. The trailer looked really good. And while we're talking about everything we're promoting, also, (laughs) you should check out our store on the AfterBuzz website, AfterBuzzTV.com. We sell shirts and mugs and whatever, tote bags. Just check it out. We sell it in women's and men's. We do. And kids. And kids. And kids. Babies. Babies. Office supplies. Just check it out. (laughs) Get your swag. Yes. Well, we have a little bit of news and gossip. Not that much. <laughs> After Buzz TV News. Do you want to go first? 
or do you want me to say um, it? I can go first. Okay. Um, Fuggirls.com actually interviewed Chloe Bridges, who actually plays Donna LaDonna. And she was at Fashion Week, and she said the best part about being on the show is the shoes. Unfortunately, we don't seem to be getting much look, much of a look at the shoes. Um, but she said that's the best part, and also that it takes them about an hour and a half each in makeup and hair. Wow! Oh, wow! Yeah, that's a lot for looking like you know. That they're know, not guess, really wearing much makeup. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> to look like high schoolers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that's all I have. How about you? Um, mine was just that last night's episode um, was actually the highest one of the season in ratings for the CW for Carrie Diaries. So that's good. If everyone at home is loving the shows as much as we are, keep the ratings going high because we want the show to come back a second season. So that was it. It was just exciting news that they got the highest ratings last night. Yay. And also Austin Butler was at Fashion Week too, Oh, yeah, right? with Vanessa <laughs> Hudgens. He went to Fashion Week with Vanessa Hudgens, and paparazzi got, like, a bunch of photos of them. And uh, he was looking really good, I have to say. <laughs> I like that the Carrie Diary stars went to Fashion Week yeah. in New York because that seems so sex in the city to go to Fashion Week and Very. watch all the runway shows. So. Yeah. That sounds like fun. I wish I was there. <laughs> yeah, to join. seriously. Austin actually also said that he would like to be the new Mr. Big. How do you guys feel about that? I can you see, think he it. Can pull see it, it. I can yeah. see it. You can see it? And then he loves living and working in New York City. Yes. I mean, I, it seems really <laughs> fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think that would be a really fun show to shoot on. To work on, yeah. Yes, on location, too. I know. Well, how about we move into some predictions? And now, your After Buzz TV predictions. I think that Carrie's going to come crawling back to Sebastian, or they're going to get back together or hook up together or still have feelings for each other soon. <laughs> is that a good prediction? Or that's is that good, super that's obvious? <laughs> Um, I think that the whole Carrie and George relationship is going to get a little bit deeper. And maybe, you know, Aust uh, well, I was going to say Austin. Uh, hello, Sebastian. Um, maybe Sebastian's going to be, you know, and kind of like a go-to after George. Kind of yeah. like a leftover type <laughs> of thing. So we'll see. I don't know. I'm hoping. I'm going to go somewhere way out there with this, but I think Larissa is going to come back and she's going to obviously take Carrie off to like, you know, more parties and more things. So then she's going to be juggling like George's like high life of the rich and then like Larissa's crazy life and then her own life of being a high school student and being friends with everyone. So it'll be interesting to see how the juggling of all that would work. That's a good prediction. I could see that I like happening. It. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I also think that. Larissa is going to ask Carrie to maybe intern for Interview Magazine, that hopefully, would be cool. and we'll see from there. And if she <laughs> does that, then she'll get more into fashion. That's so, so true. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. Well, thank you for watching, everyone, and be sure to catch us next week. <laughs> I'm Annika Michelle. You can find me on Twitter at Annika underscore Michelle. And I'm Anique DeFore. You can find me on Twitter at Justinique. And I'm Danica Kennedy, and you can find me on Twitter at Danica Kennedy. Bye, you guys. Thanks, Thanks. for watching. From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later! The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.